Mendel used a number of contrasting visible characters of garden peas. So yes, in today's class we are going to discuss about Mendel's experiment. So what he did? He took round and wrinkled seeds, tall and short plants, white and violet flowers and so on. He took pea plants with different characteristics, a tall plant and a short plant, produced progeny from them and calculated the percentages of tall and short progeny. So he crossed the uh, two pea plants with different characteristics. In the first place there were no halfway characteristics in this first generation or F1 progeny. First generation is also called as F1 progeny. No medium height plants. All plants were tall. This meant that only one of the parental traits was seed. Not some mixture of the two. So in the F1 generation he observed that all the plants were tall. There was no mixture. There was no uh, combination seed. So what he did, so the next question was, were the tall plants in the F1 generation exactly the same as tall plants of the parental generation? We say that in F1 generation we obtained tall plants. But these tall plants, were they similar to the parental tall plants? Let's find children. Mendelian experiments test this by getting both the parental plants and these F1 tall plants to reproduce by self-pollination. Very very important step was done by Mendel. He carried out self-pollination. The progeny of the parental plants are of course all tall. However, the second generation or F2 progeny of the F1 tall plants are not all tall. Instead, one quarter of them are short. This indicates that both the tallness and shortness traits were inherited in F1 plants. But only the tallness traits was expressed. Thus, two copies of the trait are inherited in each sexually reproducing organism. So, from this we can say that even tall plants or short plants, both the plants were inherited. These Two may be identical or may be different depending on the parentage. A pattern of inheritance can be worked out with this assumption. So this he carried out. See the way he carried out it. Capital Y, capital Y, small y, small y. And when he crossed he found that capital Y, capital Y, capital Y, small y, capital Y, small y and both the small y's. So, it is heterogeneous. Last one you can see that it is heterogeneous. So, ratio can be 3 is to 1. 3 tall is to 1 short.